UI inside Future. The idea here is a purpose-built uh, interior around autonomous driving. So the designers, when getting into autonomous driving, they wanted to move all of the surfaces away from it. So I fully open it up, more of like a living room experience. Dash is further away, middle console is further away. So the challenge here is how do you um, have control surfaces if you can't touch them? So how do you do a touch screen if you no longer can touch it? And this is where we developed the hollow active touch. Um, so the idea is it's a floating image. Um, through a technology similar to our heads-up display technology, combined with a gesture camera. Uh, this is for tracking where your finger is, and then an ultrasound array, which basically gives you a haptic feedback and you touch it. So you should see an image that says start. You click on that. Yeah. You should get the sensation. We have a, um, a touch. Uh, screen coming up where you can actually play around with it. Okay. So this screen is locked, so feel free to click, click those buttons as many times as you want. How do you get out? So I'll unlock it. Unlock it. Now you can go. So the idea around this is that uh, currently navigation is about how do you get through the city, how do you get from point A to point B. And the car drives itself, what is navigation about? So some ideas here is um, if you click yes, um, could it be about how you're feeling, how is it able to sense where your biometrics are, and give you a route that uh, makes sense to that. Pick one of these, it's reading your biometrics and then provides a route that's based on more about you or feeling. Another option here is once you're in autonomous driving, the system, the intelligence system, can provide to you content based on how much time you have in autonomous driving. So if you have five minutes, maybe it's suggesting an article you can read, 25 minutes, here's a movie that you can watch. And this is combined with our sound curtain technology, which built, is built into the seat. So we have speakers in the headrest, shakers built into the seat backs. So it's to give it a real full body kind of uh, theater like experience. Yeah. Like watch, you know, get a sensation for us. Intelligent systems also able to read your personal ecosystem, so it's uh, understanding on Facebook that you have someone else going to the same destination, they confirmed to go to that event. Uh, as part of this ride shooting sharing scenario, you can actually choose to pick them up. Uh, so let's say, yeah, let's say that I'm Michael, I'm getting into the vehicle, your BMW connected in the Open Mobility Cloud, my content then is able to come into the vehicle as well. Here we could do things like with the sound curtain have your music and my music Different. playing but it's playing in the sound isolation so you're listening to a rock track i'm listening to beethoven and we're able to have individual sound zones Very cool. or you can take a personal call while i continue to listen to my music so if you click yes here here we have a video call that you're able to take privatized on this screen um, so you can watch it there or you can choose to share it so clicking this button and we're able to share it on this display. And the intelligence system is able to read the content of the call and give you recommendations based on that. So here, your daughter broke a shoelace. Would you like to buy shoelaces that have been sent to the game? So through Amazon Air, it can be drone delivered right to the game. Gotcha. Then the game is about to start. There's a live stream happening. Very cool. Backseat experience. Backseat. Much more of this kind of living so this is really old.